Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Coleman Road Trip 225. Now, um, I was gonna make this a part of a bigger series for uh, travel trailer and camping accessories that are a must have. And uh, this one has surprised me a little bit. It, you know, it deserves its own videos. So I've had this one for a little over six months now, and originally it was just gonna be for my travel trailer or if we went camping. Uh, it's a good size, it's compact, it's lightweight. Uh, the shape of it allows it to fit right through my pass-through storage on my trailer, so it was really good for that. But as I started using it, it turned into more things, right? Uh, we took it on a houseboat. It's very efficient whenever it comes to fuel. Uh, you can see here we cooked sausages and burgers, and uh, we were just running this thing nonstop for about four hours, and it only went through about a uh, maybe a quarter to a half a canister of fuel. So um, I can go through, I can get a, a good solid weekend of cooking on this thing with, uh, with just one pound of propane. So let's just go ahead now, I'm gonna show you some of these features that I like about it. All right, one of the first things that I did was I just added this little bungee. Uh, it's one of my only gripes, I should say, about this, is that there's no way to lock the lid down. I wish it had some sort of clips or something to hold this in place so that it's not popping up and moving. But uh, again, you can see the condition that it's in after all these uses, it's still in very nice shape. So here's the regulator, it fits down in here. Um, everything is cast iron, which I really like because it's durable. And this is where all of its weight comes from. But I can pull all of this out. Uh, if I wanted, I could stick it in my dishwasher, uh, but I can just scrub it and it comes clean. Uh, well, for the most part, I think I cooked a kielbasa right there the other day and you can see where that still left its spot. But for the most part, it comes clean, they're replaceable, uh, and it's really nice. Now, another feature that I like, since we're talking about how easy it is to clean, is this little tray, right? Uh, this is where all the grease strips, this is where everything fills up. And um, I can take this out and I can scrub it in a sink. I can uh, dip it and, and rinse it in a bucket and it comes clean. You can see the burner here, it keeps everything clean. This is easy. Uh, it gets dry, I can just wipe that out with a paper towel. Clean that, clean that up with uh, some degreaser, some uh, Windex or, or whatever you use to clean your, your grills. Uh, what I like is I can put like veggies and things here or I can put veggies on one side, meat on the other side, all depending on how I'm gonna be doing my cooking. And nothing wants to fall through here in the middle, so it makes it really nice. You can toast your buns, you can uh, throw some hot dogs here, just right, you name it, and this thing does a great job. Let's go ahead, let's fire this up. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is to light, how easy it is to hook up the propane bottle, and um, yeah, let's grill some stuff. So here on the back, you can see where this regulator goes. Um, it's nice, it's, it's got a good grip, it's really easy to, to screw on and tighten down. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to seal it, and then our little one pound propane tank can go on right here. All right, there it is, we got the propane all hooked up, uh, right, and we just turn this burner on, and you can hear the propane flowing. First strike. I, I swear this is the first time I started it today. Okay, we'll go over here and do the other one. I'm assuming that one lit. There we go, got that one lit now too. So we got those lit. I'm just gonna close that down, let it warm up, and go grab some stuff to throw on. Man, it's really getting cold and windy out here, but our burner's still on, uh, it's nice and hot. All right, and we can just stick this here. Uh, some hunter sausage, I'm gonna put that in there and let that cook. Now this is about the time that my microphone went dead and I didn't know about it, but I've got these ribeye steaks here and I'm just gonna add these right to the center and you can see the smoke coming off. It's gonna be a really nice sear. Got this other one here, it fits nicely. Uh, New York strip steak, it fits right over here. And uh, that center burner is controlled by that left knob. And then there's an outside burner that's controlled by the right knob. And it really allows you to dial everything in. You can move your meat around and uh, really adjust that, that temperature. Now, I don't know what I'm saying right here. Something about check me out on Instagram. Uh, those affiliate links down below really support this channel. Send a super thanks if you really like what I'm saying. But again, we'll never know. Um, I'm just sitting here, look, one, two, three, I'm telling you about all the things that I love about this. And uh, ooh, look at this hose over here. So this is one thing that I like about this hose. It comes off my Blackstone griddle. It allows me to hook up uh, to a bulk connection. I can run off of a 20 pound or a 30 pound propane tank. Ooh, fancy end. And uh, I don't know how long it is, look at that. See, it looks like a pretty good size. It's a good solid hose, look. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these ribeyes and I'm going to just kind of unstick them here. Uh, look at that sear. Nice and brown. It's got a good little 
Good little grill lines to it, right? Nothing you would expect from one of these small grills. Uh, this one here, a little bit more done. Uh, I'm going to flip that back over so you don't see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nice little flame. Put that on the cutting board. Uh, this one over here was almost perfect. Uh, it's a little stuck. Next time I'll oil my, my grates a little bit, but that was a really good steak. I'm going to put this over on my cutting board. It says Road and Reel. Check that out. Uh, that sausage is overcooked because I let it sit there so I can make this video. And uh, I'm just going to sit there and kind of forget about it. Let's close that lid. Now let's go ahead and we're going to look at these steaks. So you can see here and you can really start to tell the difference in temperature variation on that barbecue. So this is the New York strip steak that was on the very left and I'm always shooting for a medium rare. Uh, this one's really close, probably a medium. Uh, I don't think the color uh, is as good as it is when you're looking at it in a different light with this GoPro. Uh, this is that center ribeye that I was hiding from you because it got a little done on the other side, but you can still see it's a great steak. Uh, this is my new Japanese uh, chef knife. It's a Western style Japanese chef knife, so it's got a good weight to it. Uh, but this one has some really good color in the middle. A lot of juice, just gotta tap it to be sure. And I'm gonna keep tapping because I'm sure I'm telling a story about how good this really looks if you were in a different light with this GoPro camera. Now this is the last one. This was the one that was on the right side. It had a lot better airflow to it. Um, but this gives you an idea. Look, all these steaks are really juicy. And for what it's for, uh, travel trailer, camping, tailgate parties, you name it, it's the perfect little barbecue for those situations. Uh, so if you like this, if you thought it was good, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget, I've got that super thanks and those affiliate links down below that really go to supporting this channel. Now take a look at these sweet cutting boards. We're going to cut up this sausage and uh, spread that around the boat until the song finishes because I kind of like it now. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.